All right, so first up, we're turning the cast off 545 into the AKS 74. But to make it, it's pretty simple. We're only gonna need three attachments. And you're gonna wanna start off with the rear grip. And if you have it, go ahead and pick the Ivanov ST70. And then you're gonna wanna pick the closer variant of the skin. I think this was one of the blueprints in the season one battle pass. So if you're late to the game where you just don't have it, this demo X2 can also work. Then after that, we're going to head over to the stocks and we're going to be going with this cast off Rama, Rama, Rama. I'm gonna go with Rama for the final attachment, head over to the barrels and we're going to be running with the cast 7406. And then at this point, you guys should already know by now, go ahead and slap on that charcoal camo. Now, even though this gun got nerfed, it still hits pretty hard, super consistent time to kill, easy to control recoil wise. And overall, I mean, it's an AK. You can't really go wrong with it. First time playing this map. It seems a little big for free for all, not gonna lie. All right, so next up, we're turning the TAC M into the FN Mark 20 SSR. This is gonna take all five attachments. So let's start with the optic and we're gonna go ahead and run this SPX 80 6.6 scope. Then after that, head over to the barrels. And we're gonna go ahead and run this 20.5 inch barrel. Then for the muzzle, we're gonna use the ZLR Talon. And then for the under barrel, we're gonna go ahead and run this level aim bipod. And then this is optional, but if you want to make it just perform a little bit better at range, go ahead and slap on some high velocity rounds. And then I would say for the camos, you pretty much got a choice between clay, olive, or sand. Now this thing is obviously built for further ranges, so you're going to want to just sit back, pick people off with those one side headshots. It doesn't necessarily fit my play style, but I'm going to try to play around it. All right, so next up, we're turning the Tempest Torrent into the M110 SASS. Starting off, we're gonna head over to the stocks and we're gonna go ahead and run this Demo Precision Elite. Then for the optic, we're gonna run this SPX scope one more time. And then for the laser, we're gonna go with this SZ1 milliwatt. For the barrel, we're gonna run this 14 inch Chroma LRS. And then finally for the under barrel, we're gonna run the level and bipod. And then you already know, go ahead and slap on the charcoal camo. Now, truth be told, I'm a lot better with the Tempest than I am the Tac M, so I should actually be able to get some gameplay with this thing. Also, this thing has the best inspect in the game. I don't care what nobody says. I didn't even see him. Excuse me? UAV standing by. 
Copy that. UAV online and hosting the air. All right, so next up we're making Leon's pistol and the riot gun from Resident Evil 4. I've been playing a little bit of the remake and I was curious to see if you can make the SG-90 and I think I got it pretty close. But to start off, we're gonna head over to the rear grips and we're gonna run this Bruin anchor grip. After that, head over to your lasers and go ahead and run this Series 710. And then for the final attachment, go ahead and run the Matsuzek cotton mouth barrel. Now, just to make it a little bit easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Bruin Express. That way it increases the fire rate. But this is the SG-90, but to turn the Expedite 12 into the riot gun, all we need is two attachments, starting off with the stock. We're going to go ahead and run the Schlager Resonance. I said it right. I, I've tried to say it like four times now. But after that, head over to the barrels, and we're just going to run this 18.5 Emperor barrel. Now, it looks a little bit janky, but I just wanted to make a second gun to go with the pistol. But I love the PA-90. It's my favorite pistol on Modern Warfare 2. And the Expedite, even though it's not the best... I might be able to get a kill or two with it. Alright, so next up we're making the M24A2 sniper rifle and the interdynamic MP9. But we're going to start off by turning the SPR into the M24. And you're going to want to start off with this booty cheek riser right here. Then after that, head to the stocks and we're going to run this ZRL T70 pad extension. And then for the scope, we're going to go ahead and run, once again, the SPX 6.6. Then we're going to go over to the barrel and we're going to run this 22.5 elevate barrel. And then finally for the under barrel, you already know, the level aim bipod. And then finally go ahead and slap on that charcoal camo. Now moving on to the MP9, you are going to be required to unlock the brand new Tech 9. My bad. F Tech Siege. But if you already got it unlocked, it's pretty simple to make. All we're going to need is this wire stock right here. And then you're going to head over to your underbarrels and run this S40-H grip. And then I wanted to pair these two together because I think overall it could actually be pretty good. We got the sniper right here just to take out anybody that's like really far. Maybe quick scope a little bit. And then, I mean, this f tac is just absolutely ridiculous. The fire ray on it is ludicrous. It barely has any recoil. I mean... If you add more ammo, you can probably beam that guy all the way over there. But these guns are both awesome to use, especially this f tac This thing is just ridiculous, man. Free for all.
All right, y'all, I'm gonna have to call it there. I'm tired. I'm not even enjoying myself playing this game right now because all of my lobbies are super sweaty. Also, a huge shout out to Windows XP. He suggested most of these guns, gave the builds for them in my Discord. He's been an absolute legend for this whole series. I would love if y'all showed him some love. Also, from now on, hidden weapons videos are gonna be every other week. So if you don't wanna miss that, I'd highly suggest you subscribe and turn on post notifications. But if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment down below any builds you might have found. But as always, make sure to drink some water. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.